Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for another General Hospital reaction video. And the truth is out. Nina knows that Nell is her daughter. And she is not happy with Jax or Carly for keeping it a secret from her. Nope. Jax finally came out and told her the truth. And Carly's not happy. <laughs> and there's um Nina. And she's vowing revenge on Carly and Jax. And she she's like she didn't get a chance to be with her daughter um but she's not going to waste any time getting to know her grandson so i'm feeling she's going to find a way to get wiley away from michael and carly wish that child poor that poor child needs a good home <laughs> Like, seriously, away from people that are obsessed with them. Like, God, oh, Michael and Willow. Like, goodness gracious. That's all they find. If they're not talking about Wiley, they're talking about their whatever relationship they got going. Boom. But, I think... Looks like somebody's outside my window. I, I don't have no pepper spray. I got some water. Anyways... <laughs> But Nina was just handed the best revenge she could possibly think of. Sunny. She called. I, I can't remember why she called. She was calling um Phyllis's the restaurant or whatever. I guess to talk to Phyllis. I can't remember if she ever said why. I'm guessing to tell her that she found her daughter. And Sunny answered the phone. Or Mike. Are we going to call him Mike? Answered the phone. And she's like. What? Hold on. What's your name again? <laughs> so, I think she's going to go down there and see Sunny and be like, I know you. <laughs> and then keep it from Carly. And I'm like, I hope that's what's going to happen. Yeah, because some of my friends on Twitter, like, they're hoping that that was going to happen about like a week or two ago. <clears throat> and, <laughs> and now, dun dun dun! It's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, and Facebook is like, oh, Nina's such a good person. She's going to tell the truth. I'm like, y'all not, have y'all not watched the show? <laughs> Maybe this Nina has been a really good saint, but <laughs> the character of Nina is not a good person. She's an evil, crazy bitch. She's been nice and calm lately, but Jax and Carly have woken the beast. And now it's time for her to get her revenge. And it's going to be perfect. It's going to be beautiful. And I'm going to finally be Team Nina. <laughs> Definitely. I love it. Anybody who's going to go after Carly is awesome. Because definitely Carly definitely puts out a lot of shit. And it's time for her to get what's coming to her, honestly. And I will love every single second of it. It'll be brilliant. Hopefully. Hopefully that won't fuck it. But <laughs> it's really great because it'll give Carly a chance to get closer to Jax or Jason. I don't know. I just think um, Carly and Jason hooking up would cause so much more drama when Sunny comes home with this and um, gets his memory back. That would just cause so much better drama. But because we already seen um, Carly and Jax and Sunny drama. But I wouldn't be sad about Car Jax getting back together. I definitely prefer Carly with Jax better than Sunny. Because Laura and Ingo have way better chemistry than um, Carly. Carly. Then Laura and Mo, like I said many times, they, they have no chemistry, actually. Laura has chemistry with Ingo and Steve. And I did read that Steve, um, he is not against um, Jason and Carly hooking up. So, I'm like, see, this is why you say these things so I can like you. <laughs> anyway, so, I'm looking forward to that. That's... Um, gonna be my new favorite storyline. <laughs> but it looks like everybody's starting to get close to, um, knowing who Peter really is and what he's really done. 
So that looks good, definitely. It's like even Anna is starting to think. Hmm. Because of Franco's um, thinking about, um, he's hearing, he's channeling his inner Drew and hearing that um, Peter's voice. So they're like, well, that means that Peter would have had to know Drew before he said he did or something like that. And so, um, or something, I don't know, I probably fucked that whole scene up. <laughs> But everybody is starting to question Peter and trying to figure out, you know, what else has he done? Dun, dun, dun. Even Maxie's starting to question him. But <sighs> Maxie is just so, she's too snowed by Peter. She's like, I love him and we're going to have a baby and we're going to have a perfect life. And she is mad at people who um, down Peter even Dante, and he, um, Peter fired Dante, because Dante, because what Dante said to Maxie, which basically said, don't fucking marry Peter, <laughs> so Peter's mad, and he, um, fired Dante, but Liesl went to go see him in this fabulous red wig, I'm talking about this shit was perfect, I'm like, Liesl, you look good, girl, <laughs> She's like, complete the mission. Dante's like, I'm going to complete the mission. <laughs> complete the mission. So, he bounced from the hospital. So, he needs to get on it. And somebody needs to figure out what Peter's doing. Because this has dragged on for a couple of years now. And it's just like, oh my god, why? Like, seriously. The character is just a piece of shit. Like. I don't, I don't know, I've seen something on my phone. I've seen some people on Facebook that said that they like him for some strange reason. I don't understand. <laughs> but I've seen more people talk shit about him and talk about how he's a shitty character and not that great of an actor. Sorry, Wes. But it's true. He's just there. He just has a job because he's banging Laura. That's all. And unfortunately, I think we're stuck with him unless they break up or Wes finds something else to do. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, goodness, it's horrible. Anyways, but I still think that the chief is not going to come out until the wedding. Whenever the fuck they are. Because, um, Anna and, um, Lord, what's his name? Finn. They've been engaged for, like, ever. And there's, like, they haven't set a date at all for this. Never said when it's gonna happen. And now the double wedding. And that's been a couple... Talking about that for a couple months now. So when is this wedding supposed to happen? But I think that the chief about Peter is gonna come out at the wedding. So, I don't know. We shall see. But I hope neither couple gets together. Because Anna belongs with Valentine. And they need to bring back Hayden for Finn. And Maxie, she needs to rest her cooch. Because she just, <laughs> I'm sorry, she just, she needs time to be by herself and be a mother to her babies. And I'm still hoping she has a miscarriage or something happens to her baby with Peter. Because I am swear, I know that's sad to say, but I don't, Maxie doesn't need any connection with Peter. She just needs to break it off totally, completely. So, I hope that happens, but I don't know. General Hospital likes to push my buttons with shitty shit. But anyways, that's pretty much all that happened this week. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think Nina is going to do about knowing about Sunny being alive? And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.